one of a few college football games happening on this first weekend of college football on Labor Day weekend. And we are underway as Gavin Bick Beckley kicks it deep and through the end zone. He does You'll see a two headed monster there in the backfield with Josh McCown and DeLeon Ward, but this time the Lumberjacks going to the air and it's juggled and caught by the leading receiver, Xavier Gibson. You say no gain on the last play, so it's second and 10. A quick swing out pass and it's caught by Q Borders and Borders is into the red zone for the Lumberjacks. Another quick pass to the outside, and it's caught by Reichel, and Reichel is in for the touchdown, and just like that, he slides safely after the score, but Lawton Reichel. Hardison to pass again, and a little bit low, but looks like it'll be ruled incomplete. Play action. And a wide open receiver is cowing and cowing, cuts inside and tripped up just across the five yard line. It was an all conference USA honorable mention kicker a year ago. And punches this one through from 23 yards out and the Miners are on the board for the first time here in 2020. An easy call for the referees and it's first and 10 from the 42, another play action. Self with some time now going to scramble and he's got some room, gets to the outside across midfield and up near the 45 yard line of the Miners. Juco transfers for the Miners this year, switching to the 4-3 defense. As Self lobs one over the middle and it's caught on the deflection. To the sound of the whistle. Third and 10, the crowd the loudest it's been tonight. Quick pass out is caught and reaching near the goal line, just short it looks like Jeremiah Miller for now, but first in goal from the one. And the handoff goes to Ward, and Ward is in easily for the touchdown. Touchdown, Lumberjack. And Stephen F. Austin makes it 13 to three. Brings up second and 10, Hardis in to throw again. Going for a cowing again, and cowing makes the catch. Tipped it to himself as he was falling back. Been targeted five times as the Miners get near midfield. Hardison flushed out on first down. Goes to his running back, Josh Fields, who makes the catch and has enough for another Miners first down instead of trying a 52-yard field goal into the wind. It's Hardison back at quarterback. The quick pass out is complete to his favorite target tonight, Jacob Cowing, and Cowing has the first down for the Miners. To not give away that easy pass like they did last time. Hardison initially looks to the left and said comes back to his slot receiver, Don, who takes a big hit but he holds on and has enough for the minor first down. Cowing is the motion man. It's Hardison back behind center. And he throws to the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown. Justin Garrett touchdown. with the first touchdown of the season for the UTEP Miners. One they desperately needed here down 14-3, now 14-9. With a four point lead, just try and run this clock out. Throw it out to the outside and the ball is loose on the ground and it's scooped up by Justin Prince and Prince has some room down the sideline and tackled just inside the five yard line. A huge play for the UTEP minor defense sets up the Miners first and goal at the five yard line. It's been almost 30 seconds since they ran their last play and they snap it here again to Wadley and or to Hankins and Hankins breaks the tackle and gets in for the touchdown. Touchdown! The first touchdown, Miners! collegiate touchdown for the Parkland grad, the local product, giving the Miners their first lead of 2020. Go in down three at half, make your adjustments, come back out on top, see. Uh... Well, they're going to go to the air on third and long. Hardison on the run again. He's got some space. We'll tuck it and sidestep his way out of bounds just past the first down marker. Seen a rotation of Hankins, Wadley, and Fields. Her Hardison under pressure and will go down. First sack of the night for the Lumberjacks, and it's a big one. The loss of eight brings up third and 19. We'll see how aggressive the Miners are. They are going to the air, and the pass is caught for a first down. It is Jacob Cowing again. So as long as his next reception is a positive one, he'll eclipse the 100 yard mark, but back to the ground. And another tough run from Hankins, just bowling over defenders. 
across the 30-yard line. Get her down the road. And then it brings up a third and 10. Another quick pass to the slot. This time it's Justin Garrett. He's able to make the catch. He'll be just shy. Um, like the call here, Trevor? I think so. Fourth and one. Fumble. Drop the snap, and it's not going to matter who recovers now. It's going to be a turnover. Well, it is a turnover on fourth and one. Anytime you get under center, you're not so ready to be able to take that snap. And then you could see if it was able to slow down on the replay, his hands clearly came apart. Hardison completes the pass. Enough for the first down up across the 25-yard line. Gonna have to get the snap off with one second. They do. Hardison finds Cooper. Stephen F. Austin runs a pretty base defense for the most part and don't line up too, too differently a lot of times. And look here, big play offensively. I think that was our biggest run play of the game. Seem in the kicking and punt returning game. And now third down, Hardison facing pressure, runs into it, runs out of it, gets the ball off, and it is picked off. Tabo Hendricks jumps in front of the pass. Being able to run the ball up the middle against this tough, stout UTEP defense. Yeah, watch the hard count too. No hard count. They're going for it on fourth and one. Self going to try with his own legs, and he gets to the sticks. First down, trying to pick up another first here. He'll keep it on the ground with McGowan. He breaks the first tackle and now gets into the open field. Down the sideline and pushed out of bounds. Just shy of the 25-yard line, so not just a first down for the Jacks. The red zone first and 10 from the 30. They go back to the ground. This time it's Daly on Ward after McGowan takes a breather. More missed tackles for the Miners. Self looking to the corner and the pass is underthrown and intercepted. Duran Lowe with the huge turnover for the Miners. Miners go to the air on the very next play and what a catch by Justin Garrett. That's going up there and using your hands to make the catch. Field trying to Salt away as much of this clock as they can, but going to the air again, and the pass complete once again to Cowing. Another late snap in the play clock. It's a give to Hankins, who has some space. Hankins has a seam across the 20. Hankins inside the 10-yard line, down to the 5. A huge run. Carries for 76 yards in the touchdown. And now a Wildcat formation straight to Hankins, and Hankins easily in for the touchdown. His second of the night. Field and see what they could come up with, but UTEP able to capitalize and take the lead and hasn't looked back since that Hank happened. Hankins has some room up across the 10. Another good cut back and run from Dion Hankins. Another first down and it may be all but over now for the Miners. And it looks like the Miners will play the side of sportsmanship here and not snap the ball again. They'll take the win and it's final. 24-14, UTEP starts the season 1-0 after falling behind 14-3. The Miners score 21 unanswered points, and Dana Dimmel gets his third win as a UTEP Miner first of the season, and the Miners start the year 1-0.